Auckland Airport in the domestic terminal. I'm heading to Queenstown again. Um, this trip actually was a rescheduled trip back in September. So you would have seen, I'll put a, um, a card in the corner, that I went to Queenstown for Christmas Day 2021. So this one is a month or so later. So yeah, I'll do, be doing a few different things and staying a different accommodation. I'll be down in the town centre this time by the water and I've hired a car. So a bit of a drive around, I'll check out some other areas. Because when I was last in Queenstown, I just stayed, you know, kind of chill, pretty much in the Airbnb. So this time I'm doing various activities. It's also a friend's birthday as well. So we're going out for a few dinners. But I thought I'd take you along and um, show you a bit more of Queenstown and the surrounding areas. So it's quite early, but yeah, and I'm quite liking my my new mask from Lily Silk. It's really soft. And also you can put the filters and stuff um, behind it as well, which is really nice. But I'll put a link in the description bar below um, of the mask, but it's really, really nice bit different um, but yeah so we'll uh, kill a bit of time and then we'll be boarding soon so I'm just on the way now just boarded uh, got a window seat so running for time at the moment and I'm just gonna chill out currently on my next book um, for my reading list just here I'll put the details in the description bar below and also in the corner of my video with the reading list for 2022. I'm about halfway through that book so we'll see how long it takes for me to hopefully finish it this week is the aim and then go on to the next book. Uh, let me know if you guys have actually read any of the books I've put on the reading list, any of the ones you would recommend. Uh, so I'm just going to settle down now and start reading my book. So this is my room. This is the Alpine room. So I don't have uh, water views, but that's, that's fine. So decent size. Just back down. Yeah, so first impressions. I've not stayed at QT at Queenstown before. Um, I've stayed at other QTs in other areas, but, um, but yeah, this is nice. It's a bit warm, I might have to whack the aircon on because I've not been in in here today. So I've got a nice little lounge area. And you know, not the most amazing view, but I, I knew that when I was getting it, so that's fine. I mean, they call it Alpine view, it's, you know, residence really. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all good. Block that out a bit. Nice bit of lounge area, good size TV um, if you're into that kind of stuff. Bit of alcohol, I mean, I don't drink, um, but that's kind of a cute little thing. Mini bar. And then what have we got here? So we've got some nibbles, some chocolate, which is ooh, probably a bit melted by now. And a bit more alcohol which is good and this must be the fridge yep so fridge as usual mini bar setup and then quite like these wardrobes quite a funky quite a funky size wardrobe 
So all the bits that you need, you know, iron, umbrella, ironing board. Oh, let's have a look, coffee and tea, if you like all that. It's a bit of everything. Again, I don't drink tea or coffee, so that, that won't be needed. A bit of a menu, guest room items. Gives you an idea of pricing and what, um, what you'll get charged for. So that's one thing. But yeah, kind of a cool wardrobe opening. See that? So yeah, look at the bath. I can't remember if I'd got a bath or a shower. Oh, I've got both. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, how cute, a little rubber ducky. Bath soak. Gorgeous bath. Oh, I think I might go in that later. Huge, huge long mirror. Me looking a little bit red today. Oops. And uh, double vanity, which is always nice. And some um, skincare products by, looks like Alice brand. And then obviously the toilet and then decent sized shower actually. Good um, shower head, looks nice and clean, tidy, and you know, monochrome, which is nice. Couple of um, uh, robes, which is good. So yeah, all in all, really good sized bathroom, really good. But um, I, I'm, now, I'm now looking at how red I am. That's with factor 50 on, and I'm oh, still quite red. Ouch, that's going to hurt later. But um, yeah, so, so far, I mean, I'll put the details of um, the hotel chain in the description bar below. I can't remember how much I paid for this. It's like five or $600, I think, for um, three nights, which actually isn't too bad. Um, but obviously it's quite quiet because you've not got any international tourists. So no, lovely. This is Lake Hayes. I've just pulled in just to check it out really. Uh, I don't think I've been here before. It's just off the main road so I'm just driving to Arrowtown and thought I'd just pull in just because the view is gorgeous. And there's not really that many people around. There's a few people out running and biking but um, super sunny. But yeah it's definitely worthwhile. If you're on your way to like Wanaka or Arrowtown when you're here um, you literally go past the lake so it's kind of a no-brainer just to pop in. Um, but yeah, it looks lovely. Nice little stop, easy to pull in. So yeah, lovely, really, really pretty. Hi guys, so I've just arrived into Arrowtown. So it's about 25 minutes drive, give or take, along a really nice road uh, via Lake Hayes. It took about, yeah, 25 minutes. So not too bad from Queenstown. And um, I thought I'd pop in, just get a little bite to eat. Um, kind of ends up being a bit brunch time and it's quite quiet actually in Arrowtown. I've not been here for gosh quite a few years and last time I was here it was autumn so I've never actually been in the summer. A uh, very different kind of vibe yeah so really really nice. Uh, lots of little shops it's pretty much one main road which you can see behind me. Uh, lots of little boutique shops it's not um, it's like a little town really a little hamlet usually there'd be a lot of tourists here but it's obviously quite quiet which is nice to be honest i'll show you a couple of clips of just going up and down the street the architecture is really cute uh, lots of kind of gold mining digging type shops uh, for the area after this i'm going to be heading out uh, do a few other bits as well en route if i've got time i'm going to go to wanaka and Kadrona which is it's kind of north of here, about another 20 minutes, actually no, for another hour drive. Um, but yeah, really nice. Yeah. 
So I've just called in here, it's one of the lookouts en route from Arrowtown to Wanaka. It's quite a windy road, just FYI, if you have got a hire car like me. I'll put the details about the hire car that I've got in the description bar below um, and on screen. Um, I've used them before, they're pretty good, really reasonable. I actually got a free upgrade as well, so I've got quite a large SUV, which has actually been really useful um, with the windy roads. Um, but I just thought I'd, I don't know if you can kind of see it in the background, but a nice little, little view all the way out. So yeah really nice easy to pull in as well but yeah I will continue the journey on to Wanaka just stopping off at Cadrona and um, just get a drink to be honest but yeah the, the road to get to Cadrona was seriously windy I'd, I'd hate to do it in, in the winter to be honest I didn't really like doing it in the summer but um, luckily I've got a four-wheel drive but yeah I thought I'd stop off get a drink en route uh, it's quite a cute little place I've had friends buy here before, um, so I imagine it's really nice kind of in the ski season. But yeah, I'm more of a summer kind of girl. But um, yeah, really cute, really, really cute. Hi guys, so I've just pulled in because uh, I was driving and I'm in Cadrona at the moment. And I just saw a, like a really random thing in the side of the road. I'll just show you. It's basically all the way back there the way forward a big kind of wall of bras <laughs> which you can see from the road which is completely random so I thought I'd pull it in and see what it's all about it's right by Cadrona distillery literally right next to it uh, clearly not related to the well it might be related to the distillery I mean if you drink quite a lot of alcohol and you suddenly walk off not knowing you've not got your bra on it's probably a bit too much alcohol but um but yeah I thought I'd kind of pull over and see what it's all about not going to take my bra off and attach it mind but um I, you know i need it for later um but yeah i thought i'd just kind of walk over and show you so that's just my, my car Lavender Farm. I thought I'd pop in and check out. And you can just see in the background the beehives because they sell a lot of honey as well. So this is the Wanaka Lavender Farm, just the entrance. So it looks like there's lavender shop, honey tasting, tea rooms, ooh, ice cream. And then it's good for kids as well with farm animals. some shade it is hot today so this is the little farm shop behind me the lavender shop and I've just got myself oh, it's a bit better a bit of shade just got myself um, a little boysenberry and lavender sorbet 
I've never had it before. I love sorbet though. So we'll give it a go and it's just nice and cold. But the combination of boysenberry and lavender I think probably would be quite nice. So I'll just take you a bit of a walk. Not really sure where I'm going. So we'll just have a bit of a mooch around. So this is Mum's herb garden. So I think the story that the cinders told me in the farm shop is that his mum set this place up, loves lavender, got the whole family into it as they grew. And um, yeah, if you're on your way to Wanaka um, from Queenstown or the other way around, you literally can go past this. So it's like $10 to get in as adults. And I think kids, it's cheaper. So yeah, it's in a nice little stop gap. You know, for $10, sit down there's a little shop um yeah there's little farm animals as well give you a bit of a look This is one of the sections of the lavender garden. It looks like one of the sims is harvesting. It smells amazing. So go all the way behind me and all the way around. Good. Yum. How gorgeous are these sunflowers? Didn't know they were here. I mean, we're on a lavender farm, but um, really beautiful. Kind of yellow, orangey colours in the background. So within the price of the lavender farm ticket that you pay, there's also a little kind of animal farm with a few little animals, which would be really nice for the kids actually. I mean, it's not massive, but it'll keep them entertained for a bit, I imagine. So really sweet. And um, you've also got the kind of view of all the lavender in the background, which again, smells lovely. It's probably the, the most relaxing place for animals really, with all the uh, smell of lavender, which would be lovely. Hello. Aren't you a cutie? Hello. Oh, I bet you're hot today. Hello. Totally immersed in just eating. <laughs> There's also some pigs in the um, further along. Some goats. I'm not 100% sure what type of animals they've got, but you can just see a little piggy in the background. Well, a big piggy actually. So they've got a few little things, which is nice. So a slight change of tack, um, my previous uh, room I've had to move out of because the aircon wasn't working and today it's been like 28 degrees and I was like I've got to have aircon. So they've been really nice, uh, really accommodating and uh, they've upgraded me to a um, water view for tonight which is nice and it's definitely got aircon which is fabulous. Uh, but the layout's still exactly the same, so the bathroom still the same. 
The shower's in a different place, but there's still a shower and a bath. So just here. Gosh, I look red. That's gonna hurt later. So much for factor 50. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the vanity, double vanity. Um, and then also in the lounge, well, mini lounge area. So this is the wardrobe space, which is in like the corridor area. And then the bedroom, exactly the same, little sofa in the corner. You've also got kind of the food and beverages, the fridge at the bottom as well, um, which I'm not really gonna use. I don't drink tea or coffee or alcohol. So um, for me, it's all about the bed. As long as the bed's comfy and clean and fresh, that's the most important thing. And then here you've got the little kind of seating area. And then the main thing is the view. I mean, it's got the car park as well. Um, but if you can see that, it's a nice little view. So all in all, it was a bit of a rocky start with QT, but they've, you know, been able to accommodate and um, got me a room with working aircon. So it's all good. So yeah, it was nice that they managed to upgrade me, but everything else looks fine. The key bit was the aircon and that definitely works. It's freezing in here, which is lovely. Um, I'm going to freshen up and probably head out and get a bite to eat. Thank you.